Hello everyone, today we will talk about how to install the Ubuntu operating system in the PostgreSQL database in the Oracle VirtualBox virtual environment. Oracle VirtualBox is a virtualization program that allows you to run multiple virtual operating systems on your computer. It is free and available for Windows, Mac OS X and Linux. Ubuntu is one of the most popular Linux distributions used for desktop computers and servers. This operating system is free and distributed under an open source license, meaning its source code is available for free use, distribution, and modification. Ubuntu is also known for its security and stability. PostgreSQL is a powerful object relational database management system that allows you to store and process huge amounts of information. PostgreSQL has many features, including support for various data types, multi-version control, triggers, stored procedures, and more. PostgreSQL is open source and free to use, making it accessible to a wide range of users. It also has a large community of users and developers working to improve and develop the system. Installing and configuring Ubuntu and PostgreSQL may seem like a daunting task, but we will help you understand the process step by step. Let's get started. Step 1. Download and install Ubuntu Server in Oracle VirtualBox. First, download the Ubuntu Server Disk image. Go to the official Ubuntu website and download the Ubuntu Server Disk image in ISO format to your computer. Next, download and install VirtualBox. Go to the official VirtualBox website and download VirtualBox for your operating system. Install VirtualBox on your computer. Step 2. Create and configure the virtual machine. Launch VirtualBox and click on the new button. Enter the name of your virtual machine and select the operating system type Linux and version Ubuntu. Then select the Ubuntu server disk image that you downloaded. Choose the amount of memory and processors that you want to allocate to your virtual machine. Then create a virtual hard disk and select the hard disk type VDI and storage type dynamic. Step 3. Start the virtual machine and install Ubuntu server. Before starting, change the network settings to bridged adapter. This is necessary for the virtual machine to access the internet and download updates. Select your virtual machine from the list on the left and click on the start button. The virtual machine will begin to boot from the Ubuntu server disk image. Follow the on-screen instructions to install Ubuntu server on the virtual hard disk. Choose the language and other settings. The installation may take several minutes. After completing the installation of Ubuntu Server, restart the virtual machine. Allow the system to fully boot up, and then you can log into Ubuntu Server using the account you created during installation. Step 4. Update packages and install PostgreSQL. Open the terminal in Ubuntu Server and run the following commands. This will update the package list and install the latest versions.
Run the following command in the terminal to install PostgreSQL. This will install PostgreSQL and additional components. Run the following command to check the installation. You should see the PostgreSQL version if the installation was successful. Step 5. Configuring PostgreSQL Server after the installation is completed, you can listen to the port used by the PostgreSQL through default port 5432. Check this by giving the following command. When PostgreSQL server installs, it is accessible from a local machine only and uses the loopback IP address of your machine. You may change this setting in the PostgreSQL configuration file to allow remote access. Enter the following command to open the first PostgreSQL configuration file and text editor. Change the following line under the Connections and Authentications section. This command will make PostgreSQL listen to all incoming traffic through the port. Next, save the file and close it. You should add the following line to another configuration file that will allow an incoming client to connect your databases and users. Enter the following command to open the second PostgreSQL configuration file and text editor. The MD5 option in this command is used to apply the authentication password to all the connecting users. Restart Postgres QL. Adjust firewall settings. You should make sure that the firewall does not stop incoming connections through the Postgres QL port 5432. To do this, input the following command in the terminal window. You may need to provide a password for the default Postgres QL user. Postgres. Shut down virtual machine. Step 6. Create virtual host and connect via database tool dbeaver. 
open VirtualBox and click on the file menu in the top menu bar. Select Tools. In the Tools menu, select the Network Manager. Under the Host Only Network section, click the Create button to add a new network. Enter a name for the new network, such as Virtual Host. Click Apply to save the changes to the network adapter. Click on the Settings button to open the Virtual Machine Settings. Select the Network tab. Under the Adapter 1 section, check the Enable Network Adapter checkbox. From the Attached to drop-down menu, select Host Only Network. From the Name drop-down menu, select the network you just created, such as Virtual Host. Click OK to save the changes to the Virtual Machine Settings. Select your Virtual Machine from the list on the left and click on the Start button. Allow the system to fully boot up, and then you can log in and check your local IP address. Download and install dBeaver on your computer if you haven't done so already. You can find the download link on the official dBeaver website. Open dBeaver and click on the Connect to Database menu in the top menu bar. Select PostgreSQL as the database type. Enter the connection details, such as the host name, port number, and database name. You may also need to enter your PostgreSQL username and password. Click Test Connection to make sure everything is working correctly. When connecting for the first time, it is necessary to load ODBC drivers. the connection is successful, click Finish to create the connection. In the left-hand pane of dBeaver, you should now see your PostgreSQL connection listed under Database Navigator. Expand the connection to view the available databases and their respective schemas. That's it. You should now be able to connect to and interact with your PostgreSQL database using dBeaver. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to my channel for more videos like this. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you never miss an update. Also, if you found this video valuable, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps me out and allows me to continue creating content like this. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.